These women are resisting the full veil. They refuse to wear the hijab. The Taliban regime defines it as an Islamic veil that must cover the face. For their safety, they will be kept anonymous. When you wear this, you can't even breathe. Even if they threaten to hang me, I will not wear the burqa. A day after the decree was issued, they demonstrated in the streets of Kabul without covering their faces. This is me here. When we went a little further, we were stopped by the Taliban and they didn't let us continue to demonstrate. Don't talk or I'll shoot you. Go away. Go away. They insult us. We can't even reply because they have guns and their fingers are always on the trigger. They don't care that we are women. They don't value women. I'm not just defending my own rights, but the rights of all women in Afghanistan. The decree was written here at the Ministry of Promotion of Virtue and Expression of Vice. On the wall, a banner urges Afghan women to wear the proper veil, either niqab or the burqa. The proper Islamic dress covers from head to toe, including the face. This order does not come from the Islamic Emirate, but from Allah and the Quran. The implementation of the decree started the day we announced it. For now, we are explaining things and acting gently towards our sisters. In this neighborhood in central Kabul, we still see women who dare not to cover their faces. But since the day the decree has been issued, their numbers are decreasing. According to me, what I am wearing is a hijab. Several times they stopped us because of my outfit and said, don't go out like that. But I don't agree in covering my face or showing only my eyes, because I don't think Allah is that cruel. We are Muslims. Hijab is mandatory. I have a message for the women who do not cover their faces. You must follow Sharia law and accept this decree. The Taliban regime has warned that after repeated offenses, the male guardian of the offending women will be imprisoned.